Hi, welcome to the Salesforce Reader stream. So, in the previous lecture, uh, we talked about how to create the text view. Text view. So, just to a uh, uh, previous lecture, we saw that uh, how to show that normal text uh, and uh, change the some properties, text color and text size. So, today we are going to learn about how to create a edit text, input text field. So it's a normal text field, uh, like we see in uh, some websites, the normal text view, just entering some information in their websites. So also you can create in our app also. So it's called edit text. So here we keep some IDs. So we have so many properties in there. So you, you can go to the, our website, search for stealers. So you can see that how we have created so many examples also there and you can see there's some attributes predefined and attributes in, also in there so let's let me show you that how we can go through there so here we can see that uh, we use the edit text tag in here we have the property is id so id property why you are using this id property is because we need some data from this id text where to working on that logical thing so that's why we keep the IDs of this year. ID is uh, this one only we care about ID, ID text. ID can be anything like get uh, text, uh, but that should be unique. Should not be different, uh, different uh, like uh, different. Uh, it should be different only. It should not be, uh, it should not be like the same things, uh, same IDs. If we have a multiple edit text and we have the same ID, so it will be automatically conflict to this programming. So whenever we want, we trying to get the data from the edit text, so the computer may be confused and the app may be crashed. So that's why ID should be unique. So ID only used for getting data from that edit text. Okay. So we uh, we already discuss about how to set the layout height and width. Height could be match parent, so uh yeah width is match parent so it means it covers the whole width of the screen and that the height is wrap content so it uh, just cover the that area it depends on the content of this height so height is depends on the content so content is 10 dp so content is taking the 10 dp so it will the height will be the 10 dp according to the content so here we are showing the hint message so you can see that some websites so we have some hint messages there what do you just want need to enter in this text field so there is our hint so we can also um, change the color of this hint color hint is there also we just uh, text color hint we just uh, uh, set that uh, predefined color text hint so you can see that the text color hint is changed also we can change the text color of this text field so whenever the user enter to some text in, in this uh, app so it will be the that color of this whenever you are just uh, provide that color so let me show you that whenever we run this app then we can enter that uh, data into this text field I'll show you in, show you in the bit text color which color do we need that primary one okay this one is done and the text size so set text size is uh, that whatever the text we are entering that too will be the size of the text so hint size also be there we can set also hint text uh, hint size and message size and the input type so input type could be anything the text web email address is there so we have so many input type options you can see the normal number number decimal so it will just open that uh, your uh, according to the input type it will open that keyboard so if you choose the number so it will open that number keyboards only like in the phone dial number even the phone or password even the text so it will open the text uh, keyboard IME option is action is done. So whenever you can you you have you you may have seen that whenever the keyboard is opened at the right corner, 
can see the done button there so this one is because of this i am option is accent done so here have so many uh, options is there accent go action next and um, previous search send all of there you can choose anything maximum line is three so whenever we are entering any text in there the so maximum only three lines will be shown in here so you can enter that uh, more than 10 lines but it will be scrollable it will automatically scroll to the top so we'll just uh, run that app and see how it is going to be so just click on this scene here so it will run this app in your emulator if you don't know how to set up an emulator so you can go to uh, my previous lecture and also you can refer to our website salesforcetraders.com you can see that uh, how i have uh, implemented that uh, emulator how you can set up that emulator so it will take some time so it's a building that cradle uh, it will take some time so you have to be patience So the layout uh, radiation is really good things and iOS you can see the in Xcode if you will work on that iOS uh, in Xcode also there are also a whiteboard so there also you can just work on these things also we have the another option is the you can see it in the top there design thing this one is the code thing we are doing design thing is there so when you will switch to the design thing so you can also drag and drop to this uh, screen actually these are some palettes are showing image viewers showing the pretty fine things are also showing you just need to drag and drop there but this one is not more efficient if you wanted to your own way you wanted to do more uh, like uh, manual way then this one is a bit more efficient so i guess this one is pretty much done uh, i think it this one is installing uh, in our emulator device so after installing it will show the text field so this one is called edit text in android So now it's installed successfully. Let's see. Okay, it's opening that app. So now here we can see the exact the same UI in here also in our so here whenever you're just entering and uh, i'm writing some text right in here so it's showing like this so hint text is go gone where so also you can see that the uh, text color is the same color which you have provided as one the color primary so let me show you that where this color primary is coming from this one is color slash color primary so here we have I have already told you that one in the, our first lecture in the color.xml it provides the color primary the color primary is associated with this hex color code color ascent as also associated with this color code primary also associated with uh, this color code also we can add our own color name and we will associate with our own color code so that's all we finally created that edit text and we have added so many properties in there so in the next class we'll see the new amazing topic so today is that's all thank you bye bye